hello there. So today is a very special moment because I hit 100,000 on my channel. Granted, it happened about two weeks ago and I wasn't prepared, but you know, I bought these cool balloons and spent 10 minutes stringing them on a string. It's amazing to me that I have such an incredible audience of people that watch me and support my videos. So thank you so incredibly much. It honestly means the world to me. And it's really totally sort of flipped my world upside down doing this. I really, really honestly can't thank you guys enough. So today I'm going to be doing something that I've seen Sophia Nygaard do. I think I said her name right. I hope I did. I've seen Sophia Nygaard uh, mix a bunch of her makeup products before. She just recently did one with lip products and just to kind of see the outcome and the colours that she achieves from them. Um, I've also seen my friend Ray do this. She mixed a bunch of Crayola, melted down Crayola uh, crayons. And that turned out really cool as well. I thought, because I have so much acrylic paint, that I would mix all of my acrylic paints together into one colour to see what I achieve. Who wants to bet it's going to turn out dark greenish greyish brown? Because that's my theory. It's brown. So I'm going to do four separate colour mixings. Firstly, I have all of these. This is in all of them, but I have these super dirt cheap acrylic paints. Uh, I also have the Galleria set, which is like a student quality acrylic paint set. Then I have the professional quality uh, acrylic paint set. And then I also have a Winsor Newton paint set that I tried out in my Wish video. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate them, all the colours, and do them in four colours and then see what I get. Um, so yeah, let's get started. I'm going to mix it all on this whiteboard here. And yeah, let's see what we achieve. If you want to leave in the comments below what colour you think I'm going to achieve with these colours, then let me know. Okay, so I'm going to firstly start off with these cheap paints. Let's do it back here. Uh, this one is incredibly runny and smells disgusting. Okay, that is every single colour. What do you think of that? It looks so pretty, but I'm kind of worried what it's gonna mix like. I probably should have a palette knife, really, but I don't have one. Well, I used to, and I broke it, so I'm gonna have to use a paintbrush, which should be interesting. Here is a nice, uh, uh, this is kind of ASMR for some people, isn't it? looks nice now, but more than likely it's going to turn grey from all of that grey. Oh, that looks so nice! Look at that! That looks so pr You know what I kind of want to do? You know what I kind of want to do? I want to get a pretty pattern on a bit of paper before I completely mix it up. So, we'll just see how that turns out. It didn't work. <laughs> so. I'm going to keep mixing this, it's getting to that lovely, lovely brown hue that we, we all know and love when we don't mix paint correctly. It's To be honest, it's actually turning the exact colour I thought it would. Like that nasty, like, brownie colour. Let's try and mix some of this in. Give it a bit of oomph. Yeah. What's the bet and we get this exact shade with basically all these paint colours? Because that's would that would be... Uh, a bit crap, wouldn't it? Literally. There we have it, a beautiful shade of that. Next up, let's try our Galleria set of paints. Oh, sh I mean, you never know, it might turn out into a really pretty colour, but I think I need to go easy on the darker colours because they always sort of have a predominant sort of effect on the paint. So I'm gonna go with a slightly lighter amount of the darker colours just to see. If that helps us not get that nasty brown again, it's, yeah, it's, 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 it's brown. It's literally almost the exact same colour as when I mixed all of those. I'm getting basically the same colour. What the heck? I give up. Next up, I'm going to try the fine colour acrylic set to see what I get with this because there is a lot of colours in here. These were from Rick from Wish. You can buy the exact same ones on Amazon as well. So I'm kind of, I 
think it's gonna turn out this purpley brown again. Maybe if I go a lot less easy on the more significantly pigmented colours, there's that word again that everyone knows that I love to use. Pigmented. I think maybe I need to just go easier on certain colours, maybe that's what it is. I think we're just gonna literally get the same colour again, to be perfectly honest with you. So now we're going to take another paintbrush and mix these to see if it turns poo. Okay, let's go. I tried to use a bit more yellow, but that might have been a mistake, to be honest. It's basically like swamp green. I couldn't really expect anything that great because we are literally mixing loads of paints together. So, you know, that's muddy green. It's different. That's good. As you can see though, so as sort of comparison, this is the Galleria set here and it's quite a thick paint as opposed to say this one which is incredibly, incredibly watery. This is a set I got from Wish which is maybe a little bit more watery than the Galleria set but it's kind of similar in a way um, in thickness so. Okay so last and probably least we are going to try out the professional quality set. Uh, oh yeah, this is this is the one that bloody was like not not working before. I paid forty dollars for this, and that's what I get. Hope for the best. It still turned out green. I mean, this is actually quite a pretty color. I'm not gonna lie. Um, it's kind of like a dark mint green. And I'm not really surprised that it's turned out green because I had a green in the set and blue and yellow in the set. So that makes green in itself. It's green. It's, you know, it's the best colour I've got so far, to be honest. And it's a lot thicker because it's more expensive. Um, this chunk is from the red that doesn't sort of do anything properly. But other than that, it's quite a thick paint. So now it's time to mix all of these colours together to see what shade of brown we shall get. So let's get started. Oh. Ugh, damn it. Now on to the gallery set. And uh, before anyone decides to comment, oh, that's such a waste of paint. Can we can we keep in mind that this is my paint and it's either going on a canvas or going into a big pile of this. So I decided to have a bit more fun with my paint. So don't criticize. Lastly, <laughs> our professional quality paint, which you can't see because I'm stood in front of the light. There is a lot more of this particular paint because it's so runny and it's impossible not to and it does kind of spread out a bit more. So in theory, there's pretty much the same amount, but there is like, you know, that's slightly more because it's so watery. So yeah, we have a nice green-ish brown. Um, so yeah, that's... Uh, is it disappointing? Not really, because we kind of expected this to happen, but if you want a nice shade of brown, just mix all of your paints together and you'll achieve it. So I did fail to mention uh, a couple of videos ago, one of the main differences between cheaper paints versus more expensive paints. Um, the biggest difference really, and the reason why professionals use professional grade paint, is because of how well they last over time and how the sort of light fastness works. And light fastness is something that you will find in more expensive paints to be a lot better, meaning when paintings are exposed to UV rays, they're not gonna fade as much as a cheaper paint would. That's, that's kind of why people tend to go for the more expensive paints. So as much as I sort of compare them and say, oh, you know, it's not much difference, that I just feel I need to put a disclaimer in there that that is why people do tend to go for more expensive paints. And yes, thank you so much again for 100,000 followers on this channel. I'm honestly just so grateful for it and I obviously wouldn't be where I am without you. So thank you so much for your support. Take care of yourselves and I will see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.